More local news tonight at 6. Two men are sent to the hospital after someone shot at their car. Police say this happened at about 12.30 a.m. this morning as the men were getting right onto the Waterson Expressway westbound from Poplar Level Road. As Kristen Goodwillie shows us, the FBI is now taking notice of the number of shootings in our area. Interstate 264 is a heavily trafficked area. On average, 14,000 people drive this stretch every day. LMPD says two men getting on this west ramp at Poplar Level in their car were shot at multiple times. So far this year, 66 people have been killed and 188 have been injured due to gun violence here in Louisville. That's a total of 254 people affected by gun violence across the metro. As for this latest case, the two men were taken to U of L Hospital, where later in the day, Special Agent Robert Brown with the FBI and U.S. Attorney Russell Coleman was taking a tour, talking with trauma surgeons about the large number of shootings. I'm not happy with those numbers. I'm not happy with our homicide numbers here. I'm not happy with our shooting numbers here. And ultimately, uh, what we do in federal prosecution, federal law enforcement with enhanced partnerships is a, no pun intended, is a moving target. Special Agent Robert Brown also presented the U of L hospital with a memento, saying the number of homicides would be much higher if it weren't for the staff. Over the last few years, the city of Louisville has been plagued with gun violence. An acknowledgement that this violence should not be the norm. Federal law enforcement saying that these partnerships are integral. I'm thankful that they're bringing a voice to a group of individuals, a group of patients that otherwise are not often heard. And a promise to do better. And the nature of the violence we're facing here, look, we're going to arrest and we're going to prosecute aggressively. Brown says their number of law enforcement presence in Louisville has doubled since last year. We're working uh, specifically in the West End and, and the city of Louisville. With a focus on their long-term plan. You know, the combined strategy, aggressive federal prosecution, more community outreach, uh, and greater partnership, we, we will see a reduction in those numbers. We're coming for you. I'm Kristen Goodwillie, WHAS 11 News. By the way, the two men who were shot are currently in stable condition. Police do not have any suspects in that overnight shooting. If you have any information that can help them out, call their anonymous tip line. It is 574-LMPD.